Hey folks, welcome back to another Make It Info video. Today we are going to talk about sending Telegram messages when you add a Google Sheet drop. So imagine having the ability to send instant uh, Telegram notifications whenever a new entry is added to your Google Sheet. Whether it's a sales leads, support tickets or inventory updates. So this integrations can revolutionize your communication and keep you informed in real time. So let's start. So today we are going to use uh, N8N for integrating with Google Sheets and Telegram. So the main requirements are um, an N8N account. So it's actually Nodemation, sorry. Um, so it's similar to Zapier. I also, I had already discussed about Nodemations before. So uh, if you don't know, like you just have to go to the N8N web, web, their website. You can either use a cloud versions or you can integrate uh, self host their applications to your server. Then um, another one, you need a Google Sheet account, like a Google Sheet. That's where you store the data and that triggers uh, the node nations to make that notifications that sending notification uh, telegram notifications happen yeah of course you need a telegram account um a group so you can use the same like whatsapp tulio uh, for sending text messages um, or even slack you can use the same way to send this notification uh, so many people like uh, sometimes you have to figure out like how you can get a telegram chat id and a uh, best resource i found is this slack stack overflow uh website like uh, from there um uh, this is the one i found working like so how i tried is i i created a bot and from um, using like if you don't know how to create a telegram bot, just google around it like once you have the telegram bot um, and you add it to the group you will get a I will send a message, like send a message to that group and then follow this, um, insert your board token. You can get it from the board father. Um, that's the uh, Telegram uh, place for like, you know, managing that board, uh, board, boards. So you can get there um, and just visit this website and you'll get a chat ID from there. So, um, yeah, so basically it's similar to this uh, here as sample, but I highly recommend this. You can go over uh, to um, set up your telegram account okay come back to the requirements and then um so basic knowledge of json is uh really helpful especially so i'm going to show you like what's the stat like uh, purely like this is like if you know the json format you can like simply um a lot of ways you you don't need it but i'm just showing like how you can use a specific format uh, to get like so this one is a json format so this is what you are getting from uh, a google sheet when you run a google sheet trigger on n8 um i think that's all you need to know like you just have a um so there is a key and there is a value so that's it okay come back to our slide um uh, yeah so you can use this to validate whether it's a right uh, json this website is really useful on that um, you can use it for validating whether the one the JSON you have is a correct one or not. Okay, basically the next one. Okay, so what's the use case? Like why um, something uh, this can be useful in, like in a, a business or for a like a, even for a small scale uh, medium like our business? How it, it's going to be helpful? So for example, here you can see a sales lead notification. So you can track the sales lead and. Uh, you can send text messages or even um, telegram message when sent to uh, your sales teams alerting them for a new lead um, you could use this technique like you can do customer support tickets like when uh, there is a new customer tab ticket added to your google sheet uh, you can um, automatically send um, either text message or telegram message to your support team then there is an event registration so so when a individual uh, register for an event through a Google form linked to the Google sheet. So, um, you know, like Google form. So when you submit a Google form, it's already, if you already added it to a Google sheet, then you can do the similar thing, um, similar uh, workflow for the notifications. So 
so yeah so basically it will notify the new rules okay there is a new registrations coming up uh, then you can process the next like what to do next uh, so this is really helpful on that situation so another case i found that uh, it's going to be useful is inventory management it's a in a warehouse or stock management system like when a when a new inventory like if you're using google sheet to manage that inventory items then uh, once you added a new inventory to that google sheet uh, you can send these notifications and uh, you know like to the specific team and they can also have that okay there's a, a new item added so basically the workflow is similar you know like you can use the same workflow for different ways and um, yeah I already covered this you can use for slack whatsapp telegram and many more um, I got this um, I, I got this like you know uh, the, the main inspirations for this video is from a comment I got for the Twilio box walkthrough and and this this person he's asking for really, you know, how we can do a Google spreadsheet um, you know like how can send a message um, when a specific Google sheet um, info is added so here he's um, there is uh, some date is there but I'm not going to do that it's going to be a bit more on the date side um, but the, um, yes you can see I already mentioned that you can do a custom Google app script solution for this but here using an it is something like um, a automation platform so you can build the system really simple you don't need to code anything so that's why it's going to be more powerful and it's going to be easy to set set it up okay yeah coming to uh, the logic diagram uh, yeah this is a simple like a easy workflow here as you can see there is a trigger um, so this is like okay so the trigger happening a, a google sheet a google sheet row added so when you add a google uh, sheet row we are saying that to the n, n item that okay the, we added a row now get the details from the log row um, so we are using a json format so json why we are using a json format because we uh, we can use that in the next step like you know like we can transform that later for example uh, if we want to add more messages more like details to the uh, the message you you can definitely use the json format like you leverage that uh, the the main strength of uh, json there once uh, so here in this layer that the transformation we are i'm just simply using a, a code node from n18 so uh, it's going to be like you know like it's going to get the last message from that row for example um, I, I can show you later yeah that's good um, so if all everything works out so you're going to send a text message oh my bad so it's a uh, we are going to send the telegram notification so um, rather than the Twilio we are going to send it uh, telegram so uh, it's going to be sent a telegram notification so you can use the Twilio it's the same but um, yeah so this is a use case right now okay next um yeah hands on so i'm going to show you like how uh, what's the step like how how the trigger looks like um here second yeah this is my n account from here you can see there is a google sheet trigger i added then there is a code um telegram so you can add the same so um if you want a new layer um you can add like twilio search for twilio see you can add twilio um, send them as SMS, MMS, or WhatsApp message. You can do that for Twilio, but here we are going to get the Telegram. And yeah, so next one. So here you can see there is a trigger mode. So this is a trigger function. It's not like like we have to um, click button or anything. Like it's it's automatic, like a, like a cron job, uh, similar to cron, cron job. But um, I will show you the function. So here I already added my Google Sheet account so i know that okay all the details are there and uh from here you can see that every minute so every minute it's pulling that data like whenever there is a data it gets you know like fetch that data so fetch that data from this document and from this sheet so this is the document id i got from google sheet and you can get it from google sheet id then this is the sheet number like you can see like oh what's the sheet like maybe sheet one sheet two or your sheet name so 
here you can see the trigger mode like when do you want to well, what's the use case like you can do it for row added row updated or the last one is row added or basically row updated so if you want more details on the well, how this function you always check out their documents um, before you know setting it up okay now um, simply just running the test case like I did I add a like let me check if I added any Google Draw. Okay, so far I didn't add anything. I erased everything before. So, uh, yeah, so now I'm going to add a value here. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, message. Make info test. And the message is uh, name is uh, make info. So, let us try that. Okay, now come back here. So, this, uh, what it's going to do, it's going to pull the the value like uh, pull the value from that google sheet it's going to uh, from here you can see it's it's not a automated one so if you want an automated one you have to always make it make this button active otherwise it's like a clause like we are testing it so now i'm going to click on fetch test event great now we got it as a JSON format, right? Like a table, you can do it for table, JSON, schema, um, anything, yeah. But yeah, so I'm using JSON. Now we got the value, and now we are forwarding it to another node. It's called a uh, code. So here we are going to do, like, you know, like from here, we can see that JSON format, like the input from the JSON format, it's, um, it, you see like the Google Sheets trigger node one back so get the value here and then uh, from here I choose run once for all items and then I just returning the last uh, input so here uh, in the if you know about JSON array so this is the last one like it's the first and last so it will just in, uh, get that value and just push it to the next one I'll show you like on the next stage I will show you why I did that so okay now we got the okay now we push that value to the output uh okay now telegram so okay from telegram oh we got that for the, this is a value we get from the um the code block so we got that and yeah so here um uh, you can see that i added the telegram account there is a uh, so I used message then the operation is going to be sent message chat ID which I already show you how do you can get then I'm just simply calling the the format here JSON dot message and a test message and do the another just call the the name so that's what I did um, for phone number for now like I'm just not using it but for if you if you are using a Tulio account, you can use the from like from message you will get from Tulio account, and you can put this to uh, to us like the phone number us two for the next one like the on the Tulio to send SMS. Here, there's no additional details needed. So when you execute it, okay, yeah. So you got the uh, message. Yeah. So. Uh, I got the message as well. I can show you here. Uh, let me check. Oh yeah, I don't have that. Uh, yeah, I think I can show it from here. No. No, I don't think I can share it. But yeah, so it's basically it's going to like trigger. The functions and say that oh you will you got a uh, telegram message so uh, yeah so this is it um, on the first case like I'm going to show the next case it's going to be okay uh, we are going to add the next one but okay um, make info test 2 uh, make info 2 like 2 uh, now I just added here. Okay, come back to our N810. Uh, okay, send this, fetch the test events. 
Oh, now we got two blocks, right? But we already add sent the message to the first one. So that's why I'm using the second one. So it will always get the, the last one. So this is the next one we have to send the request, right? Like we need to send it to the next one. So. Okay, so we got the next one and from here. Yeah, so this is making for two, test two. And once you execute that one also, that's going to be the the second one. Like the, the you will get the second message. Uh, yeah, so that's the main idea on this. Uh, but yeah, so I already mentioned it's a um, yeah. There is an edge case. Is that like you like right now you? You can only add one message like at per minute um, if you want to scale it a bit you might have to customize that code I added because you need to keep uh, like some value like a status you already sent or not sent and if the values are sent uh, then don't trigger that message so I can show you so here uh, on the on the code base um, you have to like you know like when you trigger the message you have to set the values like status as um, status as sent already sent um, and then here you have to uh, do a condition that um, stat if status is um, sent then uh, uh, don't don't put that value like don't send that value to the next node um, otherwise um, yeah don't do anything so that's the uh, code uh, you have to do for the one so i'm not going to mention it but uh, or updated it's it's just like a, you, you just have to practice or you have to do it yourself uh, to get that update um yeah there's a uh, th thank you for watching this video and we have a solutions um, uh, to send tulia based sms from google sheets and so you can use um, google sheets and twilio using a tool we made uh, it's called uh, twilio box um, yeah, it's a mostly free for a beginner stage. You can from here you can install it on your Google Sheet directly from your Google Sheet uh, application, the extension. So yeah, that's it uh, for now. Um, yeah, if you found this uh, video helpful, don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also, uh, let us know the comment. Uh, let us know in the comment below if you have any questions or other automation ideas you would like us to cover um, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video